Capcom. Oh my goodness, Capcom. Oh my god. I am so sick and tired of this company, bro. Oh my god. How is it that y'all make the greatest games of all time? Y'all constantly kill it. But then y'all do weird shit that creates fake outrage. And then I have to come in here, not only try to defend you guys, but also then I gotta kind of criticize you guys. But then I also kind of have to like be like, fuck you fake outraged people. But then also kind of have to side with the, oh my God, I am just so fucking sick and tired of this bullshit with fucking Capcom, bro. I am sick and tired of this shit. Every day, the same shit with these guys. They drop a great game some controversy happens i gotta explain the bullshit that they did explain it then i gotta be like well fuck it capcom uh i gotta agree with them a little bit this shit is bullshit but for those that don't know recently dragon's dogma has come out uh it's in no sons great open world rpg game people's been waiting for this game for over 12 plus years as just as much as we devil may cry fans have waited uh the dragon dogma fans have been waiting even longer um and recently it came out glowing reviews has been getting high reviews but then controversy struck dlc or microtransactions day one is out people have been going on twitter losing their minds um outrage that they've added dlc to a single player game a 70 dollars single player game might i add and people's just been outraged and whatnot typical twitter shit all right and then you look at the steam reviews it's mostly negative i think now it's actually been changed to mostly positive i mean or mixed um and it's just just nonsense just nonsense after nonsense however after taking some time to think about it and actually watching and listening to people's opinions and and watching twitter of all places i have to sit here and say this is a prime example of capcom just being fucking idiots but i think it also is a prime example of fake outrage people having tunnel visions and just more importantly people just not taking the time to do any research on capcom games which just leads to a bunch of echo echo chambers where everyone's just saying the same shit capcom's bad capcom's evil capcom is piece of shit shit and i get it people should be angry at capcom because me personally capcom i love them to death but i'm not for microtransactions i think microtransactions in a lot of capcom games is just wasting money if i'm being honest and it's really dumb you know and i also think microtransactions in general uh stops the creative side of a game you know a lot of people brings up like it's no son shout outs to the goat um his statement on fast traveling and why fast traveling is not needed now me personally as a fan of of it's no signs work uh in particular devil may cry i understood exactly what he was saying a lot of people took offense to what he said i understood what he exactly was saying because i use elden ring as a prime example to get across of what he was saying what he was generally saying was that uh that if you make your open world fascinating and well crafted enough you won't need to use a fast travel system you won't even want to use a fast travel system and i can use two games i just said one elden ring and spider-man 2. now people are gonna be like spider-man 2 what do you mean spider-man 2 has fast travel in fact the fast travel for spider-man 2 is extremely fast like you're in and you're out in five seconds and you're back into web swinging however key thing the web swinging is so well thought out and well designed and so great that you don't want to use fast travel there's no point of using fast travel in spider-man 2 it is it is useless because you're having so much fun with the mechanics of web swinging and gliding across the city 
it is fantastic and doing tricks and whatnot with elden ring which is a better example elden ring literally literally you can't use fast travel unless you touch um a bonfire uh for dark souls fans uh you have to use the bonfire in order to um start fast traveling but on your way there to that bonfire you're doing other shit you're like going into caves fighting bosses you're you're exploring the world there's interesting locales there's always something happening in elden ring that you don't mind taking that next step to just explore the world you are so enwrapped in the world that you don't even give a fuck about um about fast traveling and that's the cool thing me personally when i was playing elden ring i never had to worry about um fast traveling because it was just so well done it wasn't until like certain missions like uh like certain side quests or whatever or getting an item where i had to run to one area that was extremely difficult and then run back that i had to use fast travel other than that most of the time i was on my horse and i was just riding the fucking wave because the game was so structurally good the point i'm trying to make with that long ass rant is that it's an old son said that but then you have these microtransactions uh, um, that allows you to get unlimited fucking uh fast travel or you pay for fast traveling and and all this stuff and it undermines it's no son's statement and his in his vision and it happens all the time when you add microtransactions to a fucking game a developer has a vision has an idea of what they want for their game but when the moment you add you add microtransaction well now all of what the fuck you just said goes out the window because now you're now what everyone's thinking is that oh it's in those sons just said that because he wants you to go purchase your um your microtransaction and that's bullshit and i'm tired of capcom doing this this is the same fucking argument i made with fucking devil may cry 5 when everyone was bitching and complaining about devil may cry devil may cry 5 having uh microtransactions in the form of or red orbs i was livid i'm like guys no you don't need to do that just keep playing the game you're going to unlock all your moves by the time you reach the end of the game you probably have unlocked all the moves for one character at least you do not have to spend money and then later on and this is the genius of of it's an son as a director i think he generally gets it and he finds ways in his game to add ways around using microtransaction you play any one of the devil may cry game any devil may cry game player knows that there is at least one area in a devil may cry game where you can farm and you can get um massive orbs to upgrade your character any devil may cry player knows this you don't have to go far you can literally go on youtube and look up how to get orbs really fast <laughs> like it is it is super simple and if you're a pc player even better just mod a fucking mod in a fucking uh trainer and just raise up the fucking price of of your fucking uh of the currency in the game to infinite and then you can unlock all the moves right there literally so again microtransactions are useless in a capcom game because we always find ways above above it a last example would be devil may cry 5 there's literally literally a fucking weapon called the faust hat that literally gives you shit ton of orbs you keep using that fucking hat you are literally getting a ton of fucking orbs so that means it makes getting orbs or purchasing orbs with real life money completely irrelevant so again this fake outrage these fake like little on the nose outrage that people be having over Capcom shit is stupid as fuck it is annoying it is dumb and i'm just sitting there i'm like guys do y'all fucking play Capcom games because if you did you will realize that they do this shit all the time and there's always some some really easy work around so i never understand this fake outrage nonsense and it's so stupid Having said all of that, 
I'm actually going to level with the outrage a little bit. And I do think Capcom deserves a little shit for all of this nonsense. Because this shit always fucking happens. Every time they release a new game and they decided to add microtransaction. Like, seriously, no fan wants fucking microtransaction in a single player game that is $70. I get that. I completely understand it. However, a lot of you fans genuinely don't do research. I see a lot of people saying, well, the only way you can fast travel in, in Dragon's Dogma 2 is if you spend real life money. That's horseshit. In fact, there is a Twitter user that I'm going to put on the screen who has literally has a, a, re, a, a whole page explaining all the mechanics, how, how you get every single item, how you get every single thing with zero money. Other people have come out and said the same fucking thing. You do not have to spend any money on any of this stuff. Stuff. In fact, they're all in the game. As long as you play the game or you do a little bit of farming, like every Itsuno game, you will get items for free. So you never have to spend money. So I don't get this bullshit that you guys are spreading. There's false lies. Now, if you want to say microtransactions are bad, they shouldn't be in a single player game. I fucking agree. Capcom has the worst tendencies of doing this shit. I think by far the worst thing Capcom's done was with the Resident Evil remake games is that in order to get the original soundtrack, you have to pay DLC for unlocking weapons and free weapons and whatnot. Motherfucker, that's that's whatever. That's whatever. Uh, uh, music? You mean to tell me I have to pay more money to get the mu the original soundtrack when that shit should have been uh, unlockable when you beat the game? Come on, Capcom. Like, it's just stupid shit like this. But this whole fake rage nonsense and misinformation, that's what's driving me bonkers. Because you guys are not, you guys are not doing homework. You guys are not doing research. You're not, but all these people who's angry and upset, they're not doing, they're not playing the game, but I get it. You don't want microtransaction. I don't want microtransaction in any Capcom game, but motherfucker, like if there's workarounds and, and people are telling you, oh, here's how you actually get this stuff. Here's a workaround. Here's all this stuff. And that you don't need to purchase real money in order to get this stuff. Why the fuck is everyone still saying? Oh, the game microtransaction, it is bad. Oh my god, the game's horrible. Oh my god, throw it in the fucking garbage. Oh my god, it's trash. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's garbage. Oh my god, anybody who likes this game is trash. Oh my god, uh, Capcom's nickeling and diming you. Oh my god, oh my god. There's literally people telling you how to get past all this shit and that you don't need to do this shit. And it's like people on the internet are just ignorant. They don't want to do research and they don't want to use common sense. And I'm, and it's, really annoying is really irritating really really irritating and then you have freaking uh other content creators that played the game early had no idea that microtransactions was going to be in the game even though capcom literally did not hide the fact that there was going to be microtransactions um literally and they've always done it with all their games so i don't know why everybody was shocked um you literally have all the fucking content creators who played the game early sitting there and like yo we have no we have no idea that this, this shit was gonna be in the game and then people was like well you had to know you had to know like no like generally some people legitimately did not know and like all of them have stated none of the microtransactions appeared when they fucking played the um when they were playing the early um version of the game so I would like to give a lot of those um, content creators benefit of the doubt that they legitimately don't know. So all this nonsense about like how like content creators are chills and whatnot, I think is very disingenuous. I just think they were just as surprised, if not more surprised than you guys, because they played the game. They probably enjoyed the experience, had a genuine like, like of the game, and then they hear microtransactions in the game and they're like, what the fuck? And Capcom's always done this. They waited until way later to be like, 
Here's microtransactions, and it's so fucking irritating. Even though they do not hide it, they actually will put it on the fine print that there's gonna be paid DLC. <laughs> I'm like, bro, Capcom, you need to stop this shit. But that's not even, to me, the most important shit about Dragon's Dogma. The microtransaction whole debacle shit, that's irrelevant. I'm gonna just be honest, that's irrelevant. We have way more depressing matters. Like, the simple fact that the frame rate is fucking garbage for a lot of people. Like, the PC port is very poorly optimized. Uh, so, it's inconsistent. Personally, I've seen Maximilian play the game. His shit was running pretty good. But even he was like, yeah, there's some optimization issues on this game. I've tried it. It ran pretty smooth on my end. But again, optimization issues optimization i'm like i should be getting way more frames we have the which again capcom always adds the in their game so i'm not even upset about that but again something with the new fucks with the re engine and so i know that's not the best frame rates that they could be getting off of you know the pc port you can't do new game if you already lo loaded in a game there's only one save slot so God forbid you want to make multiple characters, like one a female, one a male. You can't fucking do that. Like, come on, Capcom. What are we doing with this fucking game? Like, come on. It's an no son. Come on, bro. I love you, my guy, my bro, my, my, uh, our, our fucking Moses, all right? The fucking Chad himself. But come on, man. This is just common sense shit. Now, luckily, they did say they're going to address all this stuff. And they did come out and actually clarify the, the microtransaction slash DLC shit. But come on, bro. Like, what the fuck are we doing, Capcom? Come on, Capcom. Come on. Overall, I just think the whole Dragon's Dogma whole controversy thing with the microtransactions is really dumb. It's really dumb. It's really stupid. And I blame both parties. I blame uh, fucking Capcom for just adding the shit and and just all the time them adding the shit that creates this dumb, fake, outraged nonsense. And I blame the fans or people who claim they're fans for not doing their due diligence and not looking into things and just listening to echo chamber and not actually looking up shit. Because if you actually looked up things, you would know that it's an Osun adds ways for you to get stuff without without you having to spend real life money very simple and easy however this is a once again a prime example of capcom using microtransaction and it's stunting the creative process of developers because now dragon's dogma 2 a game that's been waited for for fucking what 12 plus years is now being dogpile because Capcom decided well let's add microtransactions for no reason which they do this with all their games for no reasons anywho that's gonna do it for my video let me know what you think about this whole microtransactions in Capcom games I'm tired of talking about this shit I'm gonna go back and play some Dragon's Dogma if you're new to the channel, please comment, rate, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, guys, stay safe and have a good one, my little degenerates. I'll see you in the next video.